Hello, my name is Roland and I am a high school junior in Rockland County, New York. Since the end of March 2020, we have been bombarded about news about a mask shortage and I've been working on a mask disinfection and performance project from home. My project is further detailed in a previous video. The link is in the description in top right. The purpose of this video is to show you how to make a mask clip or nose clip which can improve mask efficiency dramatically. The following are the materials used in the video. A pot with a thermometer, scissors, elastic bands, a sharpie, and a ruler, polyplastic moldable sheet which is 8 inches wide, a felt, clamps of various sizes, and a paper towel. First, mark the half inch and one inch points at the end of your plastic and draw two lines. Then, Cut out the two strips that you just marked up. The strips should be 8 inches long and half an inch wide. Mark one of the strips in the center and half an inch on either side. Then for the other one, split it into three equal sections, approximately 2 and 11 sixteenths of an inch. Then cut that second piece into three identical pieces. Then take the felt sheet and cut approximately seven inches. Our sheet was nine inches, so we had to cut one half inch strip and cut down two inches afterwards. The felt should be seven inches long and half an inch wide. Then, place the felt on top of the plastic and two of them along the two half inch marks from the center. Then clamp both sides. Adjust if needed. Add some water to a pot approximately two inches deep and heat to 140 degrees. Then place the strip assembly in the water. Watch closely and wait until the plastic seems clear. You should pull it out of the water every few seconds to check. After determining that it was clear, dry the plastic with a felt, and afterwards, put it onto your face to mold the plastic. Press the assembly on the bridge of your nose and wrap it around the nose. Adjust the plastic strip following the curve of your face. Use your fingers as shown, shown in the image. Reheat the pot to 140 degrees Fahrenheit and dip one end into the water. After heating it up, poke it with a sharp object and form a hole for the string to be attached to. Then proceed to do so on the other side. After you got both sides punched, take your elastic band and tie a knot at one end. After tying one knot, try and connect the other side. The knot should be approximately 18 inches long for most people. This can be adjusted if needed. Then cut off the ends or the extra parts if necessary. Here is an image of me wearing the actual nose clip on the mask. Adjust the band to whatever size you have and make sure it is comfortable. Now you are well protected. Thank you, I hope this video was able to guide you to build your own nose clip. There's a link in the description to disinfecting at home and my project as well. Stay safe.